We greet everyone with the peace of the Lord Jesus. Also, the ones who are watching us through the social media, peace of the Lord. I'd like to invite those brethren who can to stand up. We're going to meditate in the Word, which is located in the Gospel of Matthew. Matthew 14. We're going to read from verse 23. Matthew 14 from verse 23. We're going to read a couple of verses. Amen. Deus recebe o E despedida a multidão, subiu ao monte para orar à parte. E chegando já à tarde, estava ali só. E o barco já estava no meio do mar, açoitado pelas ondas. Porque o vento, o vento era contrário. Mas a quarta vigília da noite, dirigiu-se Jesus para eles, caminhando por cima do mar. E os discípulos, vendo caminhar sobre o mar, assustaram-se, dizendo, é um fantasma. E gritaram com medo. Jesus, porém, lhes falou logo, dizendo, tem de bom ânimo. Sou eu, não tem mais. Glória a Deus. Senhor, nós. Lord, we glorify your name. We ask, give us a blessing tonight. Be with us. We pray in the name of Jesus. The church may be seated. This passage of the Word of God. is very well known by us. But this passage has a couple similarities to our own experiences with the Lord Jesus. This passage has a couple of similarities with our walk in God's presence. But I see, my brethren, that, I'm sorry, my throat is bothering me, and it just began to bother me when I was told to, that I was going to preach tonight, but no problem, why to Jesus? But this text, this passage, in this passage, the disciples there, they receive an instruction from the Lord that they should enter into the boat. This verse we didn't read was didn't read was verse 22. He said, "Go into the boat and pass, and go to the other side of the river." While Jesus was sending the multitude away, and we also one day. We received an instruction like this from the Lord. Enter into your boat. And who enters into a boat has a destination, goes to some, some direction. You don't enter into the boat just to stay in the boat. But the Lord gave an instruction saying, go to the other side. Did you notice the similarity? One day God invited you and told you, enter into a boat. To go where? To go where? Go into the eternity. We have a place that we need to go to. Why is that? Because we heard the voice of, of the Lord Jesus, the Spirit. Look. 
go to the other side. But the text also says that when the boat was already in the middle of the sea, the wind was tossing the boat around. The boat was tossed by the waves. And I wonder who has never gone through this situation, right? Everything is all right. But Lord, I heard a voice. Now I'm the servant of the Lord. I am in the boat. Everything is fine. Then uh, difficulty rises up. According to word, the, the wind was went against the boat and the waves tossed the boat around. And many times we do not understand. Sometimes we even question the Lord saying, Lord, but I'm following you. Your instructions. Oh, there is a fasting. Lord, I have done the fasting. Lord, I have done the meetings, the services by my own at noon. I'm, whenever there is a service in the church, I am there. But many times, the Lord also says that the Lord, He looks from the mountain and sees this situation. And the Lord goes there. And for the Lord, the sea, the waves, the wind, they are nothing. According to the Bible, he was walking over the waves, over the difficulties. The Lord, many times, he walks over those things to show to you that he was victorious. He says, I was victorious, so you also be victorious. That's the word of the Lord reminding us of, look, the word says that the Lord sees. And we're speaking about similarities between this crossing here with our own lives, with the church of the Lord and the boat. How many times we are like this, but the Lord comes towards us to meet us. And how many times? You remember, my brethren, how many times the Lord went towards you to meet you? Many times, right? If I was going to tell all my experiences here, the service was going to last a long, long time. If we heard all the testimony of each brother here, I'm sure that we would not leave this church today because the Lord many times came towards us. The Lord went over all difficulty and came to be with you. The Word also says that they come, they see the situation that somebody is coming and it's many uh, better difficult to understand but it also has similarity with our situation today how the world is out there many times not paying attention and many times you say oh, I'm, a, I'm a Christian I serve the Lord I go to the church I believe in the Lord Jesus I believe in Jesus but I don't understand very well what is happening at the moment. It's such a difficulty. It's so difficult. It's disease. It's unemployment. And it's fighting. It's agreement at home, the family. who is paying attention and there's a church that is paying attention there's a church that is listening to the signs the church that is paying attention will hear look do not be scared it's me I it's me there are the ones who are more bold like Peter right 
Peter is a little more bold. Lord, is it you? Really? Right? They're the ones who are like Peter in our midst, right? Lord, is it you? Really? And many times we experience the same experience that Peter had. Lord, I can no longer remain in this difficulty. And the Lord places faith in our heart and he says, come. Come. If we are looking to the Lord, if we don't lose the Lord from outside, if we are not distracted with the waves, we will also walk over the difficulties. We will also walk over the waters. We are going to meet with the Lord Jesus. There was no, it was not God's plan that Peter got out of the boat, but our, the Lord is merciful. He loves us. And I believe that Peter was the one of the biblical characters that was most difficult for Jesus to deal with. Peter is not a an easy Christian to deal with. And Jesus told him, Peter, it's not like this. But after Peter understood, many times the Lord sat sat down with Peter and when Peter understood, he was a blessing in God's hands. According to the word, he was speaking by the Spirit. His he does, he preaches through the Spirit, and 3,000 lives are saved. They say, I need to, to accept, accept this Jesus, who is no longer Peter speaking anymore. Other uh, experience a little different, but Peter was a little more different. But the Lord has done his work in his life. In the same way, God wants to do his work in our hearts. And tonight, lo the Lord wants to remind us that. Look, I'm going towards you in order to help rescue you. You are not alone. There is an old song that said, you are not alone. How can you imagine? And many times you think that we are alone. That the boat is tossed around and the wind comes and we think, we are not going to be able to withstand it. If, if, if the boat doesn't sink, I may be thrown out of the boat. I'm going to lost, be lost in this world. But the Lord tonight is here to remind us that the Lord has come towards us. And he has seen, he has seen our struggle. And he has come towards us. And we have many different trials. That's sure. We think differently. And we have different trials. And our trial is always big. Even though we are different. Sometimes you hear what one of our brethren is going through. And as we are going through the same thing, we have our own needs. And we, says, we say, Lord, have mercy. But we pray to our brethren. And we say, Lord. I don't think I would be able to withstand the struggle that my brother is going through. But the Lord has been with us. He has shown how it is to walk over those difficulties. And the Bible says, when the Lord comes, after the situation of Peter, when Peter, in the middle of his walk, he begins to sink and the Lord holds him by the hand and they walk together over the seas and, and then they both enter into the boat and the Lord enters into the boat and they all see and they say that they adore the Lord Jesus and there is another detail there was no longer wind or wave because the Lord now was there and tonight we are going to allow the Lord to be here be in our hearts so that we may be able to see 
even if many see this storm that we may be comfortably knowing that the God I am is with us like the Lord said look it's me do not be afraid and we should not be worried about this amen that's the word of God for our hearts tonight let's praise the name of the Lord Hallelujah. Amen, my brethren. I'd like to invite the church to stand up and finish our service, our glorifications to the Lord. Lord, I want to praise and glorify the Lord. Glorify our holy name for yet another moment that's so special in our presence for the word uh, that co bring comfort to our hearts. We plead, Lord, so that you may be shine your, your blessing over the supplication of your servants so that everyone here may leave this place rested with a blessing and answer their needs manifest a glory and mercy over each family here presented 
give you tonight. Please, we pray in the name of Jesus. In the name we say, Lord, the grace of the Lord and Savior Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the good and eternal Father, and the sweetness and the consolation of the Holy Spirit be with the people of God now and forevermore. Amen. Amen. The church may be seated. I'd like to inform the brethren that tomorrow is the last day of the instruction for the month of June, which is for the salvation of our family members. Uh, well, let's invite them to participate, those who live here in our region, so that they may come and watch the service in presence, so that they, they may receive uh, prayer and assistance. And the ones who are far away, send them the invitation through the cell phones so that the Lord may bless them, whatever they might be. They may be reached by the mercy of the Lord. Tomorrow at 10.30, we're going to have Sunday school. And 7.30 p.m., we're going to have another service of glorification of the Lord. You who are with us, who visit us, you are welcome to this place. If you need an assistance, we're here at your disposal. So I wish everyone the peace of the Lord Jesus.